Loop Flip creates new grooves from a pool of up to 64 loops. You can use up to 8 tracks with 8 loops in each track. When you generate a new groove, Loop Flip randomly selects loops, randomly alters the start markers of the loops and places them in a rhythmic pattern that you can manipulate using the different controls. This way you can create an almost infinite amount of new grooves from your original clips. Loop Flip works directly from the session view and places the new material onto the arrangement view. First add loops to the session view. You can mix loops of different lengths and use audio loops as well as MIDI. Make sure that the loops are identified at the tempo you expect them to play and that the warp markers are where you like to have them, as you would normally do when adding loops to live. Add the device to the set by dragging it to a track of its own. Loop Flip will by default add up to 8 tracks starting from the beginning of the live set, so it's most convenient to put the tracks you want to include in Loop Flip first in the set. To generate a new groove, switch over to the arrangement view and set the loop start in live where you want to create the groove. Click generate to create a new groove. Each time you click generate, a new groove is created on the timeline. The track section manages which tracks are included when you create grooves. If a track is selected, Loop Flip will use any clips that are on the top 8 slots for that track. You can select a different track for a slot by using the menu. If you want to exclude a track when you generate grooves, use the checkbox next to the track. If you add new tracks or loops, delete or change order of tracks or loops, use the Reload Tracks button to update the device before generating new grooves with those new tracks or loops. In the Pattern section, you have some controls under the pattern. Pages let you decide how many pages of the current pattern you want. 1x is the pattern as is, and 2x is two copies of the pattern, extending the rhythm for variation possibilities. HT stands for halftime. Enabling that, your rhythm switches from 16th notes to 8th notes, stretching out the pattern over a longer loop. The small squares to the right of each track toggle aligned mode on or off. Each track is set to non-aligned by default, meaning that the start markers of the loops in a track get a random value when you generate a pattern. If you toggle a track to aligned, the start markers will be set relative to the loop's original start. To toggle all on or off, hold Command on Mac or Control on Windows while clicking on any of the squares. In the Generate section, you can choose what gets randomized when you hit the Generate button. To randomize everything that is randomizable, keep the setting to All. To randomize certain settings while keeping others, select what to randomize with the individual selectors. The Modify section includes various ways of modifying a rhythm or specifying options for creating a new rhythm. The top section modifies a page, which is a part of the rhythm. Select which page to modify with the buttons named as the number of the page. The Extended Notes control modifies the number of notes that are extended. When you use this feature, you will hear longer sections of the loops at certain places. The Rotate knob changes which clips are extended. You won't have precise control of which notes are extended or how much. Instead, you'll rely on just listening to how it sounds. The lower section of the Modify section is global, meaning all pages in the rhythm. The density control adjusts the number of hits in your groove. Increase it for more hits or decrease for fewer. Swing adds swing to the actual placement of your loops in the arrangement view. Steps define the number of steps in your pattern. Each step is either a 16th note or an 8th note depending on the halftime setting. 
The rotate control allows you to shift the groove on the timeline, changing the one in the beat relative to the timing in live. Since Loop Clip operates directly on clips on the live arrangement view, it's very easy to add in effects as you like, or include multiple versions of a clip that is for example reversed or processed. When you hear something that you want to save, you can either just copy that over to another part of the timeline, or use Insert Time to move all to the right and move back the loop and continue working, or move the loop over and generate a new groove. You can save some parts of a groove by deselecting those tracks. They will now stay as is and you can blend in more layers of the groove by generating over those tracks. You can find interesting rhythms by playing some clips in the session view while creating grooves with a different timing. For example, a 4-4 drum beat in the session view playing over a 12-step pattern. Thank you. 